<clears throat> okay, a farmer is going to divide her 40 acre farm between two crops. Seed for crop A cost 10 bucks per acre. Seed for crop B cost five bucks per acre. The farmer can spend at most 250 on seed. If crop B brings in a profit of 100 bucks per acre and crop A brings in a profit of 140 bucks per acre, how many acres of each crop should the farmer plant to maximize the profit? So to solve this problem, first of all, we need to introduce variables, meaning let x is number of acres for crop A and Y is number of acres for crop B. Okay, after that, uh, we need to extract the information from the problem here. So we can just make simple, you know, table kind of thing cost and then land and then profit so maybe this is for crop a we're using x for crop b we're using y so if we read the problem here it says seed for crop a cost 10 bucks per acre but we're using X many acres for crop A, so the cost would be 10X. Similarly, for crop B, that is five bucks per acre, so it would be 5Y. But there is a restriction for the cost. We can't spend more than 250. Similarly, for the land, for crop A, we're using X many acres, so land is X for crop A and Y for crop B. And then there is also one restriction that is the land is, you know, maximum land you could have is 40. Now let's try to find out the profit. If you read um, this sentence here from here, if crop B brings in profit of 100 bucks, so that is crop B, profit of 100 bucks, bucks per acre, but we're planting Y acre, so it is 100 times Y. And then crop A brings 140 per acre. So there are X many acres, so it would be 140 X. So from each of these columns, we can extract the information. So we can write it down like 10 X plus five Y is less or equal to 250. That's from first. And similarly from second X plus Y is less or equal to 40. And then since we're talking about uh, number of acres, so X should be positive, non-negative, because we don't have negative acres. And Y should be non-negative. And similarly for the profit formula, we can use this last column and we can write profit equal 140X plus 100Y. We'll come back here and then use this profit after finding the current points. So we need to find the current points for that. We have to plot the graph for each of these inequalities. So let's do that. For the first one, for the first one, if I try to find the points for the first one, so I'm trying to find, um, I'm trying to plot this inequality, so I need to change that into an equation, and I need to find points, two points to plot that equation. So when I choose, let's say x equal to zero, then five y would be 250, and we divide both sides by five, so that gives us y equal 50. Similarly, if y is zero, then x would be 25. So I can plot this zero, 50 and then 25, 0 here. So let's say this is 25, 0. And this is 0, 50. So 
we need to just join them. And then because we're using the solid line because there is a less or equal sign and because it's a less or equal, so you are going to this direction. Okay, so that's for the first inequality. For the second one, I'm using the red pin. So let's try to plot x plus y equal 40. And if I do that, I can find two points. Let's say x is zero, then y is 40. So that is zero, 40. And y is zero, then x would be 40. So that is 40, zero. So if I plot that one, my 40, zero would be somewhere here. And then my zero, 40 would be somewhere here. I need to use a solid line to join these two points because it's a lesser equal. And because it's a lesser equal, so we need to go down. Okay, so there are two more inequalities. You can see that x is greater or equal to zero and y is greater or equal to zero. It means we're trying to find the bounded region here on the first quadrant. So we already know that it should go down from this side and from this side, and it should be on the first quadrant. So this would be our feasible region. So now we need to find out the corner points. So we already know that this is zero, zero. This is 25, zero. This is zero, 040. And we need this point of intersection between these two lines, x plus y equal 40 and 10x plus 5y equal to 50. So uh, to find that point of intersection, we can use we can use uh, we can use a uh, substitution method. So um, so to find out the point of intersection, we can use the substitution method here. So I'm going to do that here. So let's say we need to find 10x plus 5y equal 250 and then x plus y equal 40. We are finding the point of intersection between two. So I'm going to use the second one. I'm going to find y equal 40 minus x. And I'm going to substitute this value back in the first one. And it gives me 10x plus 5 times 40 minus x equal 250. So if, you, if I distribute this 5, it would be 200 minus 5x equal 250. So here we can combine this 10x with the negative 5x. So that gives me 5x. And there is still 200 on the left side. So I'm going to subtract 200 from both sides. So that gives me 5x equal 50. And then if I divide both sides by 5, that gives me x equal 10. So that's the x coordinate. Now I can find the y coordinate by plugging the value of x here. So y would be 40 minus 10, y would be 30. So the point of intersection would be 10 and 30. We can always check this. So let's go back to the feasible region and we can see that this would be 10 and 30. So the next thing we have to do is we need to find out this profit function at these four corner points, one, two, three, four. And then we need to find out where this profit would be, um, profit formula would be maximum. So let's make this table, corner point, and then profit equal 140x plus 100y. So from here, we can see that these are the four corner points from the feasible region. So this is the feasible region. This is the feasible region. So 0, 0, 0, 40, 25, 0, 10, 30. And then if you put this x and y in the profit here, it will be 140 times 0 plus 100 times 0. So that would be 0 for the first corner point. Similarly, x is 0 and then y is 40. That gives me 4,000. Similarly, uh, x is 25 and y is 0. That gives me 140 times 25, um, which is 140 times 25. That's 3,500. And then finally, x is 10. And then y is 30. That gives me 4,400. So by looking this thing, we can see that 
the maximum profit is 4400 and then we can get that maximum profit by plotting 10 acre for crop A and 30 acre for the crop B. So that's the conclusion we have to write. So the conclusion of this problem is, conclusion, uh, to have the maximum profit, we need to use 10 acres for crop A and 30 acres for crop B and the maximum profit would be profit would be 4400. Yeah, so that's the conclusion you have to make. So the value of x and the value of y is 10 and 30.